So this is the 2022-2023 Rocky Mountain Element C50 categorized as XC cross country bike. Rocky Mountain made this bike so radical that the geometry for this bike is like an enduro mountain bike. All right, we're just gonna quickly go over every component on this bike, and in the end, we're gonna do a quick review on how the bike performs on the trails. The only difference between the model 22-23 on the C50 model on this bike is that a 23 has more colors, uh, more frame colors, and the rear hub is a DT Swiss 370. But on this bike, a 2022, it has a race face trace rear hub. But everything else, pretty much the same component from last year to this year, 2023. And for suspension travel, it has 120 rear, 130 front. And of course, the frame is equipped with ride 4 from the 65 degree to the slackest and all the way to the steepest 65.8 degrees. The frame can fit two large water bottles should you go for a long ride and don't like wearing backpacks or hydration pack into your body. For the rear suspension, it has a Fox Float Performance Series with three settings firm from going up, medium for traction, and the third one is open for bombing down. The front suspension is a 130mm Fox 34 Performance Series with a fit grip damper. The same with the rear suspension, it has three settings as well with firm, medium, and open. Alright, so let's move on to the drivetrain. For the drivetrain, it helps speed Shimano XD SLX race face combo with a shifter XD. Rear derailleur is XD as well. The cassette is SLX 10 to 51. The chain is SLX. The crank is a race face A Fact 32D. And for the brakes, we have the Shimano SLX 2 piston. These are metal pads, by the way, from factory. It has 180mm rotors that comes with the bike. And for the rear hub, like I said, this is a 2022. It has a race face trace, 148 boost with a 10 degree engagement. And this is how it sounds. For the front hub, it's a Rocky Mountain in-house brand, Boost 110mm. And for the rims, these are the 29er WTB TCS with 27mm internal. And these are tubeless ready. And also to mention that the rims comes fully taped from the factory. It also comes with a tubeless valve if you buy the bike brand new from the shop. And for the tires, these are front, back, Maxxis, Recon, tubeless ready, and of course 29 and they're 2.4 wide or, or wide trail with EXO protection. So another in-house brand for the dropper is called the RMB or, 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 or Rocky Mountain Tuna Drop 30.9mm for the size it has 150mm travel for medium and for the saddle we have a WTB Silverado. For the handlebar and stem also in-house brand from Rocky Mountain, it has 70mm wide, 25mm rise, and the stem is 50mm. And the grips are ODI Elite Pro Lock-On. So in my opinion, this is one of the great value bike. I know there's some in-house brand with this bike, like the handlebar, the dropper post, the stem, and the front hub, which may be not into your liking. But overall, it has a really good value, major components with this bike which is really hard to beat. But none of these really matters if the ride sucks. So let's go, let's check it out and see how it rides. All right, so we have a trail here in my local uh, local trail network. This trail called Machete. 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 Um, this is primary downhill. There's some few spots that has a um, technical uh, um, climb and same thing going down um, well let's see if uh, I will try to climb this and how efficient the bike is but right now I'm just gonna put this on middle uh, I left it open before but now I'm gonna put it in middle uh, for climbing for uh, 
a little bit of a little bit of a traction so but we'll see okay here comes machete here we go okay well wasn't too too bad the C50 ah. is still true to its roots as an XC bike even though I uh, positioned the hedge of angle to 65 oh. degree in the ride for um, configuration it climbs really really well here we go all right Oh, sorry. Just you? Yeah, just me. Thank you. The Maxxis Recon tires are great performing tires, fast rolling, and good grip over corners and root sections. It's a good choice for this bike. The small bump sensitivity for both front and rear suspensions are pretty impressive. It soaks up the bumps really good. Nothing too harsh, especially the front suspension. These are the Fox Performance Series. Ooh, slips. <laughs> well. The drag train for this bike, shifting, going up or going down, works flawlessly. Even the cranks, race face apex, it feels really stiff in every pedal stroke. Okay, so I haven't used the full granny yet, but the bike does climb really efficient. One thing I noticed, on a very steep climbs, the front end pops up. Probably the handlebar is on a higher position. This is something can be adjusted to bring it down. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. <sighs> okay, let's go down the same trail. And I'm gonna set the rear suspension to open to just soak everything up. And by the way, going up, just going up, I, uh, I had the, the front suspension open as well. I never uh, closed it. So, just so you know. <laughs> oh, 
one thing you'll find though I'm having a bit of a trouble maneuvering this bike on tight spots that's probably because it's a it's a longer wheelbase than my old uh, old bike so basically in the braking division the Shimano SLX works really really well even though it's only two pistons and it can make you stop really quick it'll be harder to maneuver for me coming from a shorter wheelbase bike but I'll get used to it I almost want to think that Rocky Mountain made this bike just to go downhill it is like a mini enduro bike it tracks going down so so good so there you have it this is the Rocky Mountain C50 Element. This is a full carbon frame bike. I do feel that this bike is worthy to be called a down country bike with a radical geometry, but still a pure XC when it climbs and a really impressive going down even on short travel suspension. Again, to me, the C50 is a good value bike for the money. It comes with mid-range specs besides the in-house parts, but those are cheaper to replace the handlebar and the stem. Overall, the bike performs great and it's always a delight to ride this bike. Thanks all for watching and have a great ride.